Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about method overriding. Remember, method overriding is one of the types of polymorphism. So the other one which we discussed in the previous lecture is method overlo overloading. So here, we discuss about method overriding. So let's get started and let me open Eclipse IDE. Now I just open Eclipse IDE now and this is uh, as this is lecture number 37. So what I'll do now is I'll be creating project 37 file new java project i'll write here project 37 and click on next i want to create module info click on finish now as usual we'll create a package right click on this as rc new package i'll be creating my package and now what i'll do is inside this i'll be creating my class which has main method new class and i'll be writing here my class which would be having main method, click finish. Now this class will have main method now. I'll type enter and enter here. Okay. Now done. Now to, to understand method overriding, so what I'll do is I will create a new class called English message. So let's create it. Now, I'll try to give some realistic examples so that you can relate it. Now, I'll create right click on this package, right click on this, or I'll create in the same class here. So let's create here class English message. Now, I'll be writing here public void. I don't want to return anything, I just want to print it. Public void print high. Now, this method will just print high. SYS4 control space high. Since it's printing it, it's not returning anything. I just kept void. So if someone asks you what is void, if a function is not returning anything, that's we can mention as void. And here it's just printing high. Now I'll, I'll write here public void print hello. And, and here I'll write SYSO control space hello. And last message I'll put here public. These are the general messages that we use for greeting people when you meet someone. So either you say hi, or maybe you say hello, or last one I'll put here public void print good morning, or print gm. Now I'll be writing here sys for control space good morning. Now this English message class is having three methods: print hi, which will print hi. Okay, sorry. Now this message, this will print hi, and this will print hello, and print gm will print good morning. Now let's take for example, I want to create for Hindi, Hindi message as well. So these are the general messages that we use for greeting people. Now I want to create one more class, Hindi message. So what I'll do here, I'll be writing here, class, Hindi message. Hindi is another language uh, in India. Uh, national language for India. Now what I'll do here, I'm writing here class Hindi message. Now I'll copy, I want to have these three, hi, hello, and good morning. Now I'll copy these three methods. Now in Hindi as well, hi, let's take, see, in respect to the mother tongue, whatever language you speak, if, if you meet someone, the first thing you say is hi, or when you call someone, the first thing that you say is hello. It doesn't matter whether your, your, your language is um, Japanese language or French language or English or any language, irrespective of your language, you still say when you call someone, the first thing you say is hello. So I want to reuse these two methods, hi and hello for Hindi as well. I want to have same for Hindi as well. But for Hindi to say good morning, let's take, I'll say Shubodai. Now in Hindi, I will say Shubodai for good morning. But these two methods I still want to reuse. So here I have a hi and hello. I want to have the same here as well. But now when I try to write here extends. Now what I can do here, since I'm going to reuse these two methods, I can, I can use inheritance. I can write here extends English message. Now when I'm extending it, all the methods will come to the direct class. So now I can delete these now. Now anyway, because we are extending, this is a parent class, this is a child class. Now I get these three methods I can reuse as a part of this Hindi message. 
but I don't want to reuse the third one because third one I want to give new definition so that's where we call it as method overriding so when you're inheriting a parent class some methods you reuse as it is you want to reuse as it is but some methods sometimes you might need to give new definition of it so here I'm writing again print good morning but I am giving new definition of it so I have to tell to my compiler that I am purposefully doing this I want to overwrite the definition of good morning here I want to give new definition so what you can do here is you have to write add rate override now when you write override your compiler understands that you are doing purposefully you are redefining the same method which is there in the base class so that is called method overriding I repeat once again sometimes when you have some methods in the base class you might need to reuse most of them and for some methods you might need to give new definition in the derivative class in that case you repeat the same method in the derivative class just to make sure see if you don't put this override you compile a thing that by mistake you have put the same method again here so you just need to add this override keyword that tells your compiler that okay you are purposely giving the new definition of the same method which is there in the base class and this is called method overriding and all you have to do is you just need to add at the rate method override now if I create object for Hindi message so I'll write here Hindi message and uh, HM is equal to new Hindi message I can give any object name now I can write here HM dot HM dot print high see here I'm getting print high even though it's an English message because I'm inheriting it so I'm getting this and HM dot print print hello and last one hm dot print which is part of your Hindi message you're overriding it now since I have overriding this value now if I have not written this code if I'm not written now let me run this code now let's run this I'll run this code and you can see here hi hello and Shuboda is part of your Hindi message now if I have not written this code let's take I have not written this code then this will print good morning because that's there in the base class now now I hope all of you are clear what is the purpose of method overriding is when you have some base class methods which you want to reuse and one method or few methods which you want to redefine in the derivative class you'll write the same method again and write your definition as you require and just put here at the rate override which tells your compiler that you're going to give the new definition this is called method overriding also called dynamic polymorphism okay so I hope you are clear with method overriding and thank you and see you in the next module